Are your remedies compatible? We design remedy programs individually. We test your body's responses to both stressors and solutions in real time. We avoid the common medical errors of assumption and extrapolation. This is what we believe evidence-based medicine of the future will look like. When we test the bioenergetic responses of clients to their prescribed medications, about 90% of the time, they do not test compatible. We find that selected natural remedies that support the healing response intended with the RX typically restore a coherent response, reducing energetic side effects. In contrast, over 80% of herbal prescriptions made by practitioners of oriental medicine do test compatible without modification. Traditional Chinese medicine practice has a history of thousands of years of application on an individual functional syndrome basis, rather than treating materialistic diagnostic categories. In modern medicine's short history, there are no studies of potential adverse drug-drug interactions required or performed before 1,453 pharmaceuticals were approved and prescribed. About half of all Americans are on at least one prescription drug in any given month. About one quarter are three or more drugs at the same time. Because drugs are toxins that do harm, they are regulated and licensed by law. Interactions between toxins are frequent and do tremendous harm. Every new drug prescription is a dangerous new experiment based on extrapolation from population studies. When a second prescription is added, there aren't even any studies to extrapolate from. Our prescription drugs are the third leading cause of death. Just say no to drugs. Whenever possible. Many drugs, like most commercial supplements, also contain unwanted ingredients such as stearates, phthalates, sugar, artificial colorings, GMOs, gelatin. We take special care to avoid these impediments to healing when we make our functional formulations. In contrast, interactions between optimal nutrient forms and biocompatible phytonutrients are rare and more often synergistic than harmful. These are the same exact substances that have supported life throughout our genetic history. The number of deaths attributed to supplements each year averages less than one, and in most of those cases, there is no evidence of causality. In a 27-year period, only one instance was listed as having a degree of causality, and it was the lowest possible degree to find as level 4, probably not responsible. In our accelerated self-healing process, we typically use combinations of low doses of safe ingredients. These nutrients and botanical extracts have a long history of safe use since they were the primary medicine for our species throughout its genetic history. Our functional formulations are regularly tested for energetic effectiveness and compatibility with each client in real time. During that biocommunication process, the client's medications are already in their system. That means that when the body shows an increase in coherence in response to introducing a remedy signal, the body itself is telling us that it is compatible with the medications for that individual at that time. This is how we identify the energetically correct remedies to design an accelerated self-healing program. The remote testing processes we have developed are known as biofield analysis. Occasionally one of our remedies is not initially well tolerated symptomatically. The usual cause is that it supports the body to release a toxin stored in the tissues. This is called a healing crisis or cleansing reaction. In the case where the toxin is released from a pathogen, the reaction is called a die-off or Herxheimer reaction. The solution in any of these situations is to moderate the dosage and frequency of the remedy initially, until the toxin is cleared, allowing tolerance of increasing dosage and frequency up to the recommended level. These healing responses are not very common and are seen more frequently in the first 10 days of taking a new remedy. For those who are highly sensitive, reactive, or in frail health, it is the best practice to simply introduce any new remedy gently, starting with much less than the full therapeutic dosage. Dosages can be titrated according to tolerance very quickly by cutting the dose in half each time if necessary, or doubling the dose each time when tolerated, 